Hello everyone. The video playing now is from today, showing the shootdown of yet another Russian Car 52 helicopter. It's quite an unusual one as the explosion seems to happen just above the helicopter, blasting downwards and catching the helicopter, which then just drops like a stone. I have no idea which SAM system could have been used to target the Car 52 in this manner. Whichever it was, it was devastating. I wonder if it is one of the new ones which have been sent recently. This occurred in the Dnipro region, 2pm Ukrainian time. Now, in October, the British government issued this update, putting Russia's in-service fleet of Car 52s at 90. This is lower than the 127 which they officially have, but it is normal for airframes to be down for maintenance and not available for operations. On Oryx, 27 Car 52s are visually confirmed as lost, so that's a huge portion of Russia's available fleet gone. And this is just visually confirmed losses. Ukraine has claimed to hit others which haven't been photographed or videoed, so aren't up on Oryx. Not to mention airframes which are unavailable now because of combat fatigue. Remember, the Car 52s have been in Ukraine since um, February. These are bound to be having to be recycled back into Russia for maintenance and picking up wear and tear and that sort of thing. Given the high rate of Car 52 losses, I can see Russia possibly cycling out its Car 52s or even supplementing them with other options such as the Mi-28 because losses of a Car 52 now are getting very, very high. Which is a bit of an unfair reflection on the airframe. A Car 52 is actually a pretty good helicopter. The reason the losses of Car 52 were so high compared to other helicopters is because of where it operates. These operate bang on the front line, so it's within range of pretty much all of Ukraine's SAM systems. Other helicopters like the transport helicopters operate further back. And these are quite durable. We have seen videos of these getting hit by a man pad and flying back towards Russian lines, so they can take a bit of a beating. So that's it for this video. I thought it worth taking a look at as this happened today, and it's always interesting to see a Car 52 loss. If you found it interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care, everyone.